Okay, for this question, the fraction recrystallized and time data for the recrystallization at 600 Celsius of a previously deformed steel are tabulated here. Assuming that the kinetics of this process obey the Avrami relationship, determine the fraction recrystallized after a total time of 22.8 minutes. So we're told the temperature, which we're not going to use in this question. We're told that it obeys Avrami relationship, and we're asked to figure out what will be the fraction recrystallized after a total time of 22.8 minutes. Since we're talking about the Avrami kinetics, let's begin with that equation. The Avrami kinetic equation says that y, the fraction transformed or converted is going to be equal to 1 minus the exponential of negative kt to the n. Now k and n are constants. And t is just time. One of the first things we can do to make it easier to work with the Avrami kinetics is rewrite this expression in a way that takes the two variables that we don't know, k and n, outside of the exponential. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the exponential to the other side of the equation as opposed to 1 and y. So we're going to add exponential of negative kt to both sides of the equation and subtract y from both sides. That gives us exponential of negative kt to the n equals 1 minus y. Now, since we have this negative sign in our exponential, we'd like to get rid of it, we can take 1 over both sides to get the following. Exponential of now positive kt to the n equals 1 over 1 minus y. Recall that getting rid of that negative is just a property of exponents. Now we can take natural log of both sides, and we're left with kt to the n on the left-hand side equals natural log of 1 over 1 minus y on the right-hand side. Let's take the natural log one more time to bring down this n as an exponent. Now we have natural log of k plus n times the natural log of t equals the natural log of the natural log of 1 over the quantity of 1 minus y. This actually does, although it's a little bit complicated, make it easier because now we have an expression that has k in it, and we have an expression that has n in it, and these are separate, right? So now we can go ahead and start plugging these things in to solve for two variables simultaneously. To solve for two variables, we're going to need to be able to write two equations, but that's okay. We were given information at two different times, right? So plugging in values. We don't know what k is, we don't know what n is, but we do know what the time is, and we know how much converted after that time. We know what y is. We know that for two different points, so now we have two equations and two unknowns. There's a number of ways we can solve for this. Let's do a simple one. Let's take equation 1, and from equation 1, we're going to subtract equation 2. When I do that, I get that the value is that these disappear, then we have n, and we have negative 0 0.7981 equals negative 1.685. So all I've done is I've just plugged in what the values are for natural log of 13.1, natural log of 29.1, and so forth. Now we can go ahead and solve for n by dividing both sides by this. Makes this cancel out. Negative 0.79. n equals 2.1119. And now that we know n, we can go ahead and plug it back up into either of these two expressions from above. It doesn't matter which one and then we can go ahead and solve for k. When I plug that in and solve for k, I find that k equals 9.75 times 10 to the negative fourth. Great, so now that we know n and k, we can use these in the Avrami equation to solve for the fraction transformed after any arbitrary amount of time. So let's plug them in. y, the fraction transformed, will be equal to 1 minus 
the exponential of negative 9.75 times 10 to the negative fourth times our 22.8 minutes raised to the 2.1119 exponent. Plugging these in, we find that the fraction transformed is 0 0.5129, or 51.29%.